Hi guys, Dave here. Dave's LFC Chats. I've got the legend. He's back on with me. Chris Payjack from Redman TV. How are you, Chris? I'm all right, mate. I'm uh, I'm adjusting somewhat oh. ter- somewhat terribly uh, to quarantine and to isolation and to lockdown and stuff. But yeah, I'm good. Thanks, mate. Thanks for having me back yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, listen, it, it's it's crazy days, Chris. It's like waking up in a dream. It's like the Twilight Zone back in the eighties, and waking up. I, I seen a program years ago, and your man woke up and he was in a, an alternate universe or something. And it was, when will this ever end? I mean, it's crazy. It is literally. I never would have thought you, and nobody thought, obviously. I'm following this actually since about January when it broke. There's a, a YouTube channel I'm following it, so I knew it could get bad, but I didn't think it would get this bad. You know what I mean? But uh, how are you getting on with the wife and the two kids in the house? Yeah, it's um. It's not great, um, <laughs> shall we say? The missus isn't well, like so. I think we think oh. she's we think she's got it. Um, so she's not been well for the best part of two weeks now. She got tested last week. Still hasn't heard anything back yet. Really up and down, like really bad at times. Okay at times, and you think you've turned the corner, and then it kind of goes back a little bit. But juggling that with the two kids hasn't been easy. Uh, obviously they're off school and then obviously trying to continue to work and stuff as well um, makes it difficult. But I think if she gets better, we're okay. I think. But you're, you're waiting. It takes over a week to get the result back. She got tested last Thursday to Thursday today and we've still not had wow. anything. Yet. That's crazy, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I mean, she could have it. and Nobody knows. Like, you know. Yeah, but they can't do nothing for it anyway because she's not bad enough to be hospitalised. So She's self-isolating, just... is she, in the house anyway? We're quarantined, yeah. So oh, quarantined, I've okay. I've not left the house since a week Saturday. Um, yeah, it's Jesus uh, Christ. Yeah. And 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 Paul had it. Paul's okay now, though. I see. Paul had it. We did. Paul had yeah. it really bad, like um, right. really really bad. Just at the point where you probably he was thinking wow. about going to hospital with it and stuff, but he's he's recovered now, full recovery, thankfully. Jesus Christ. Uh, so he's back in and back on Redmen and stuff like that. So yeah, I we're see just, him. I, yeah. Yeah, I seen him. We did a video today actually on Redman. Check it out. It's very good. It, they were doing a video about the the Liverpool players, the way they're making, like King Kenny was doing, with trying to hit the balls, and yeah, Virgil yeah. was doing stuff. Did you see that Virgil ask Virgil? He did the other day. It was Twitter. He did it. Virgil Van Dyke. Mm-hmm. But I mean, they're trying to fill in the time, Chris. Like me and you. I mean, it's crazy. Okay, we talk about the. Well, I was going to say the most important thing. Obviously, health is the most important thing, but Liverpool. The Premier League, okay. They're actually meeting, I think, today and tomorrow again. They've been meeting all week, the Premier League, deciding, trying to decide on what to do with this crazy time. I know you hear a lot about null and void and all these other fans, especially probably United and City fans, saying, I ah, just void the season, <laughs> you know, leave Liverpool out of it. We're 30 years of horror here. It's killing me. I'm sure it's killing you. But what do you think? What do you think will happen? I know it's nobody knows, but what do you think will happen in, in summer, maybe? Um, the pessimist in me says the Premier League gets finished, um, and that's also the optimist in me. But the pessimist in me says there's too much money for the Premier League clubs that they they will not go without, um, and they're going to have to forego probably uh, match day revenues. I think they're certainly going to have to forego yeah. that. But I think as a percentage of what the clubs earn, the TV things more important. I think there'll be this big summer bonanza with football on all the time, football, 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 all on the telly all the time um, and Liverpool are crowned Premier League champions and that's also what I hope happens because um, of a tribalist football fan <laughs> as we both know um, so yeah I, that's what I think will happen what about you mate? I, I, I'm not as I, yeah I'm not as up to, I'm not I'm pessimist as well. I, I think anything's possible Chris I really do the position we're in the world we're in right now it's only going to get worse before it gets better let's hope it gets better before June and July but I was just thinking the other day the way they were thinking about having camps and splitting all Liverpool squad, think how many people are in the squad, think how many people are in the camp, would be maybe 100 people possibly, security, everybody. If only one of them Pat, is positive, the whole bloody squad would have to probably go into quarantine for two weeks. I, I don't know how they're going to do it. I really don't. I know the, the Premier League's going to lose billions if they don't fulfil the season, but I really do think health could trump everything. I really do. 
And and you're right, health should trump everything. And the only way that I think they can start one of these camps is by putting them all into a two week quarantine prior to it even happening. Um, that's the only the only yeah. way, isn't it? So yeah. they're all going to have to be quarantined for two weeks. Yeah. And and then they're going to have to be quarantined together forever. Um, and that's going to happen across the board. It's a massive undertaking. Um, and you're talking cameramen. You're talking <laughs> cooks. You're talking cleaners. You're talking. Coaches, families of fussy players, it's massive. But equally, we're probably also talking about a billion pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you said that. That's a brilliant idea, actually. Like a World Cup uh, camp where everybody's away from the family and away from the girlfriends for a month or whatever it is, three, four weeks. Do something like that. Get everybody away. They'll all arrive in their buses with the hazmat suits on and go in and play the matches. But I, I just hope, I just want to win the league, Chris. I mean, you wait 30 years, it's just, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's for this to happen. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. And if, they, if they're talking about three games a day, aren't they? So realistically, we could have the league boxed in a couple of days. You know, oh. <laughs> and then it's just like play the oh. reserves, play the reserves, get the lads back home, get them resting, <laughs> give them the summer off. Oh, the Elliot, you can go out there and play, and and you get to Jones and all that. Get the league box and get the lads home and and, and, and looking after what we need to do. We were only two bloody games away. Uh, okay, so Chris, another big topic is yourself, Chris Pajak YouTube channel. Oh, what God, is yeah. going on, my friend? To be honest, I just needed something to do because the footy is such a massive part of my life that I just needed to do something a little bit different. So I started kind of vlogging and doing food vlogs and, and just doing my own channel, mate, to be honest. And, and I'm pleased with how it's gone so far. Seems People seem to be enjoying it. Um, so it's it, you just need to Google Chris Page if you want to go over there and check it out. A cook's gran, um, as you can tell, uh, quite, a, quite a big fella uh, who likes his food a lot. Um, <laughs> And I'm an half decent cook as well, so I do some food stuff. I do some other things where I just rate stuff. Um, yeah. I'm really enjoying it, mate. And I know that you've been watching, so thank you for watching as well. I, I have, and I'm just telling everybody else here that's watching this to watch Chris because I'll tell you what's good about it. It's fresh. It's different. You know, it's not even football. It, it's making stuff. It's rating stuff. It's just different, and it's good to mix things up, I think, anyway. Um, I didn't think you were that good of a cook, though. <laughs> Screw yourself. 18 uh, years only, in catering, mate. I'm only joking. Yeah, I can only make fucking toast, beans, toast for fuck's sake. 18 but, years in catering, I had, mate. <laughs> I knew. I actually knew that. Yeah, no, you're brilliant, brilliant. So you're having another show tonight or tomorrow? When's the next? Friday Isn't night. It? Friday oh, night, yeah. Um, oh, pull pork. I'm going to show everyone how to do my way. Oh, very nice. Right. Well, that is absolutely brilliant. I'll put your link in the end so everybody Thank can click it and much. hopefully subscribe to Chris Pajak and Redman TV are still going guys they haven't gone away Redman TV news the, the academy the whole shebang are still there let's hope the next time I'm talking to you we're the bloody league wrapped up <laughs> I know fingers crossed Dave okay thank you very much for coming on we keep it short and sweet stay safe yourself and your family hope to talk to you soon mate cheers mate cheers bye legend Dave thanks mate bye 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 bye